Hello, I'm Alec White from Primrose Hall Peonies, and today we're talking about how to be a more confident peony grower. Now, I love peonies. I love the colour, I love the fragrance, I love the sheer size of the blooms. But perhaps one of the things I love most about peonies is the fact they're really easy to grow and they're pretty versatile. There's a peony for everyone. So whether you've got a big garden with lots of borders or a smaller garden or indeed a balcony, there's a peony that's perfect for you. Now the best place to start, of course, is to buy a mature plant. Peonies don't tend to flower reliably until they're at least five years old. So getting a mature plant to start with is a good start. Now they're really long lived. Peonies will last for up to 60, 70 years in the garden, many decades, and every year they'll flower a little bit more for you. They're ultra low maintenance, so they're perfect for beginners. So if you've tried in the past and not had a great deal of success, or you're complete beginner to peonies, I'm hoping after today's video you'll feel a little bit more confident about growing peonies in your garden. Think also about when you want your peony to flower. It's a common myth that peonies flower for a short period of time. Peonies will flower in the UK, depending on the variety, between April and the end of June, early July even in some cases. It does depend on your local conditions and the weather. But there are early flowering varieties, such as Claire de Lune, which is absolutely gorgeous. It has this wonderful lemon cream flower. It's single, it's loved by the bees and the pollinators, it's got a gorgeous scent, and it's got a very loose habit, so it looks really good in a shady um, or full sun position in the garden. Think also about Officinalis alba plana. Now this is a very short plant, doesn't get very tall, maybe only 18 inches tall, but beautiful double white flowers. And that will flower right at the end of April, beginning of May, looking absolutely gorgeous. You then have peonies flowering at the beginning of May. Maybe tree peonies, end of April, beginning of May. You've got varieties of herbaceous peonies such as coral charm, uh, red charm. These will all flower at the beginning of, of May for you. And as we move into the mid-season, that's the middle of May to the middle of June, lots and lots of herbaceous peonies flowering at that time. Um, Kansas, a gorgeous plant, just been given the AGM award, the Award of Garden Merit by the RHS. It's an absolutely stunning plant, 100% reliable, lots and lots of flower, absolutely gorgeous. You also have the fawn, really beautiful plant on very strong dark red stems, beautiful pink double flowers with a raspberry fleck in. Absolutely gorgeous, really can't recommend that highly enough. And then we've got Cuckoo's Nest. So lots and lots and lots of plants that will flower mid-season for you. And as you move through the season into the late season, this is the middle of June onwards, look at varieties such as Shirley Temple, uh, Solange, maybe Paul M. Wild. There's lots and lots of peonies that are fragrant and colourful that will flower in late season. And one of the things I love about Shirley Temple, actually, is that it opens with a pink blush, but by the time the bloom is fully open, it's pure white. Lots and lots of flowers on Shirley Temple. Again, a really reliable plant. Think about peonies for containers, and as I've said, there are lots of varieties you can choose. We have a whole patio range of single and double flowers. Some of them are beautifully fragrant, but think also for containers about the intersectional hybrids, and these do particularly well in pots. And one of the reasons I love them so much is that they flower for twice as long as a normal tree peony. So you get maybe four or five weeks of flower out of a intersectional peony. A little bit more expensive, but they really are worth it. And with them, you also get fantastic, really gorgeous autumn color. The foliage holds onto the plant and you're talking russets and greens and oranges and browns and golden colors. It's absolutely delightful in the autumn. Think also about fragrance with your peonies. A lot of people think peonies aren't fragrant, but the majority of Lactiflora certainly are fragrant. So ones I would recommend, Eden's Perfume. It's there in the name. It's absolutely gorgeous peony, really beautifully scented. But think also about Boule de Neige. Wonderful scent, double white flowers, really lovely. You've also got Sarah Bernhardt, who you may be familiar with. Again, that's got a delicate scent too. Think about Love Affair. It's a wonderful intersectional peony with huge white flowers that are gorgeously scented. It really is delightful, something to have in the garden if you can. Think about whether you want peonies for cut flower. Peonies make great cut flowers and they'll last for seven to ten days in a vase quite comfortably. 
There are lots of varieties that do well as cut flower. You may be familiar with Coral Charm and Coral Sunset. Sarah Bernhardt, obviously very popular as well. But in the cut flower range, Red Charm and Sebastian Mass, I would definitely recommend those. Red Charm, big double red flowers with a bomb shaped flower. And as the flower matures, it turns to become a kind of maroon burgundy color and Sebastian Mars, a really beautiful cerise pink, vibrant pink flower with a great scent. Other suggestions for great peonies for containers would be Sonoma Yedu, which is an enormous big double yellow flower. It's absolutely wonderful. And also Court Jester, again an intersectional with a really unusual flower. It does look like a jester's hat. It's yellow with burgundy flares in the middle. Really something to see and well worth having in the garden. If you are interested in pollinators, there are plenty of peonies that are loved by bees. One in particular, Crinkle White. It's a really robust uh, plant. It has single white flowers. Again, lots and lots of them and the bees love it but also any of the single varieties, particularly um, Scarlet O'Hara, doing very well in the nursery right now and attracting lots and lots of pollinators. And if you've got a shady position in the garden, there are a few peonies for you too. White Wings is a particular favorite of mine for a shady position, as is Crinkled White, but most of the peonies will flower in part shade. You won't get as many flowers, but you will get a much more intense fragrance. Peonies for shade. So there's a peony there for absolutely everyone. So be confident, be inspired, and buy a peony today. <laughs>